This is a good way to turn to you, Susan. That's right. <laughs> George stressed the importance of the pipeline. The new high school diploma is the pivot point, designed to bring students to a high level of performance that prepares them to move to college or work. Talk to us about that. You bet. The Oregon Diploma is our path to getting the results that we all want to see. I hope you all know that in the new Oregon Diploma, we have set a vision that will take our state where we have never been before. All students earning a rigorous high school diploma that equips them for college, work, and life. No more slipping through the cracks. No more graduates who need remedial work when they get on the job or when they go to college. The new Oregon diploma requirements are the result of national and international research, best practices, industry standards, and higher education expectations for success in college. And they include raising the rigor in math and science, raising the number of credits required from 22 to 24, high standards that may be met through a variety of courses and experience, experiences, allowing students to earn credit by demonstrating proficiency based on those standards, opening up more innovative options for students to demonstrate knowledge and skill. And then in addition to a rigorous academic achievement requirement, in order to earn the Oregon Diploma, students will be required to demonstrate proficiency in eight essential skills. You may uh, hear these referred to as 21st century skills. Students must read and interpret a variety of texts, write for a variety of purposes, speak and present publicly, apply mathematics in a variety of settings, use technology, think critically and analytically, demonstrate civic and community engagement, and demonstrate global literacy. And our students will have a more personalized learning experience. Each student will have an education plan and profile, which will help them map their path to their education goals and track their progress, helping, them, helping more of our students graduate on time, empowering our students as they become more aware and involved in charting their own course. Our students will apply and extend their knowledge in new and complex situations related to personal and career interests and post high school goals. And I know this crowd in particular will be glad to hear that the Oregon Diploma also includes career related learning standards connecting students to real life experiences in the workplace and the community. Students will demonstrate personal management, teamwork, problem solving, and career development. Now five statewide implementation task forces are at work making recommendations on what it will take to ensure that our students will be successful in meeting these new requirements. The task forces include business and industry representatives. Some of you are in this room. Thank you for your leadership and for your willingness to help. Because in order to be successful, it's going to take all of us working together in new ways. Now, some of these changes are already underway in schools, while others take effect for the class of 2014, which is this year's sixth graders. And up to now, uh, much of the work on the Oregon Diploma has focused on high school and next steps. But we know as we move forward on implementation that this new vision for our state is going to affect all parts of our education system, from preschool and kindergarten to community colleges and our universities. We've launched the first phase of an awareness campaign posing the question, are you ready? We're asking students, parents, and now all of you, the business leaders in our state, are you ready to do your part to help us have a successful implementation? Now, the website for more information and to get all of what I've presented today is getreadyoregon.org. I hope that you will go there and find out more. These are incredibly exciting times in education, and I look forward to working with all of you on this new hopeful vision for Oregon as we create higher expectations for every student in our state. Thanks. Thank you, Susan. <laughs>